Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from the Classy Sassy Life. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my student planner. And this is a DIY version. Um, I actually started recording this and I lost the footage. I know, I lost the footage. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through what I've already done and then continue putting the pieces together. So if you have not checked out my um, new setup in my Franken Plan Planner where I went through and um, removed the months from before and added in the new months, I put a card right there for you guys to see. In that video, I went ahead and placed in a um, extension pack that was the monthly layout, which is the trendsetter. So let's go ahead and go back there. I have my trendsetter extension pack separated um, with this hustle tab here. Okay, so um, the first thing you see is just I went in and I made a copy of these two pages. So I made a copy and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit guys. I went, I used my HP Envy printer and I made a copy of 2018 and 2019 so that I can put it in the back section without like losing pages. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and show you what else I've done. I added in this divider. I am in school, but um, I'm already a teacher, but I'll be working on um, my teaching certificate So in, in my new state. So I use this divider that says teacher's going to teach. And I got that in a box kit last year with my first um, teacher happy planner. So what I did was put in just two months where in the other two um, sections of my Franken plan planner I used three months, but I only used two months because um, My classes are six weeks a piece. So I'll add in as I need to So I went ahead and dated this and I added in these beautiful little these beautiful florals that um, I got out of the student sticker book so these are the two student books that I have. I got these florals from the Frye sticker book. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the floral right there. So I got it from this purple sticker book. Um, and I put these little glasses here because this is the day that classes actually start. I'm using a sticky note to indicate um, the last day registered. And then I put just a little bit of motivation and I covered up this note section with a long box. Um, and I'm also just gonna put in any important notes that I need for May over here. And I put in be brave and brilliant and you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. Just for a little bit of motivation. So that's all I've done in my planner. And then I have the extension pack pages along with the checklist. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do all of that. So let's go back to the front and I'm gonna show you how everything is gonna be set up. Okay guys, so I went and printed out some sheets that I'm gonna be using in my planner and they're just um, my schedule. Um, what semester I'm taking the courses in and what I actually scored in those courses. So because I wanted them to lay a certain way, I printed a quote by Maya Angelou on the front. That way when I open them up, all of my courses will be laid out for me from left to right. So I'm just using a um, Happy Planner page as a guide to cut down um, my sheets so that they will fit into my planner and I always use a guide when I am punching just because I want to make sure that they are perfectly aligned I don't like when my pages are higher or lower than the other pages in the notebook so I try to make sure that they are very much the same so I also pulled out my cutter just so that it'll make this go by a little bit quicker and I'm cutting down the final sheets that's going inside my planner 
so now I'm just going to grab my planner glue pen and glue down the pages and I use this glue pen because I wanted to be able to turn the page and go straight to my calendar um, without there being a space between the two so I printed my pages like this because I wanted them to lay out perfectly and the quote I use if you're always trying to be normal you will never know how amazing you can be by Maya Angelou and so when I flip the page um, open you're gonna see how I laid out my classes all right, monthly layout part two. So I decided that I wanted to use my monthly layout in my trendsetter to set goals and to put when things are due for my classes and use the um, actual monthly page before this as a due date for the university. So um, the first thing I did was write down my top three, which were to complete my discussions, earn all my points, and okay, complete so all of my assignments. The next thing I am going to do is use my purple um, student book and look for these labels that um, can be used for headers at the top of your pages. And I decided to use those in my monthly habit trackers and I wanted to use them so that I can keep track of when assignments are due. So that's what I'm going to use my habit trackers for. Next month I'll probably cover up the words um, monthly habit tracker instead of placing those in those boxes. And then I pulled out my stud letter pins and my paper mate flares. I have quite a few pins guys so I wanted to pull out two contrasting colors that would stand out against each other so I picked pink and blue and then I went back to my Friday sticker book and grabbed a little clipboard um, that says note to self and I wrote down the actual color of those courses um, so that I would know which course went with which color that I wanted to write down what each one of those headers stood for so technically in college you don't really have homework you have assignments um, unless you're actually going into a class um, and then you have uh, discussion questions online that you have to complete so I use my quizzes for my discussion questions and the homework for my assignments tab and then I just bubbled in when assignments are due for each class in the assigned color. Now there aren't too many assignments just because um, class is just starting and May is about to be over and you know each habit tracker is for that. So the first thing I did was cover up this monthly goals um, because I wasn't really going to use that but I covered it up with a project because we have a major assignment um, coming up and our professor wants us to go ahead and start working on it now so I wanted to remind myself to start looking into that and start working on those different components and I'm probably going to be breaking it down um, within the trendsetter next week so that I can do um, the assignments that are due. And then the next thing I did was go in with these beautiful gold scalloped stickers and I used them as a separator um, for my key and my actual checklist and to help let that um, to help separate it I used two icon stickers um, from the purple Friday student sticker book to cover up the actual box for the checks so um, it's not a part of the checklist at all and then I just quickly wrote down um, some things that I want to make sure that I checked off and these are just the things that are coming up with my class just starting up so I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss any of those So moving on to the other space in my trendsetter. You guys know I like to use this for brainstorming and just like brain dumps, but for the students, I wanted to use it for goals. And I was flipping through the sticker book and I found this 
cute um, coffee icon so I wanted to lay that down by my get it done and focus on sticker um, focus on section then I grabbed two book icons and laid those down now I should have chosen a blue book but I chose a green one um, next time I'm setting up for next month and then my classes after that I will definitely be using books the book colors to coordinate with my pink colors So when I was looking through my pink student um, sticker book, I came across some really cute stickers that I could use um, for gold. So I went back and found that sheet and they are some large stars. So I'm going to lay down three of those. And I also wanted to use these really cute glasses. I've been really liking these stickers, guys. I didn't have a use for them at first, but now I have a big use for them. I so moving on to part three, the actual weekly layout. So um, I'm not going to put down dates um, Monday through Sunday. Instead, I'm gonna write down all the things that I have due this week and um, in each of the colors for the courses and that's how I'm going to be using my daily checklist so I don't want to put myself into a box and say on Monday I need to do my introduction discussion and response number two on Tuesday and response number one on Wednesday instead I want to write down all of the things that I have to do and allow myself to um, check them off as I am completing them versus saying, okay, on Monday, I haven't done this. On Tuesday, I haven't done that. And I find that that really helps me to be able to complete things better as long as I know when they are due. Um, and I have it laid out like this so that I won't be a procrastinator, but I don't want to be so anal about it that I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't do this on Monday. I find that that stresses me out more so than, um, helping me and I love planning guys but I don't want it to restrict me so that I feel like I'm under pressure okay so the last thing that you're gonna see me do is kind of decorate my uh, weekly spread um, just with a few stickers just to make it pretty and stand out and also to identify when things are due for me so that I can make sure that I am aware of them for that sole purpose that I don't have any um, dates on each um, section of my checklist and I like doing it this way that way I won't run out of checklists and I want um, and I won't use them all up either so I can kind of make them stretch and I just laid some um, eyeglasses down on some glasses down on um, places where I'm actually going to have to be reading something and then I also laid down two note stickers to remind myself to take notes for my study so I also added in um, a sticker to tell me when to download um, a item that I'm going to need for class so I went to my dates and stickers my dates and holiday sticker book and just grabbed um, two stickers from there for my due dates and then I grabbed this due sticker from my student sticker book um, to layer over top of those dates okay guys so that's gonna wrap up this plan with me keep God first in everything you do make sure you are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up and plan a classy and sassy life guys bye